Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about an active gang war in the San Gabriel Valley between Azusa and Sentinel Boys. Azusa 13 is a Mexican American street gang located in Azusa, California, which is a part of the San Gabriel Valley in the Los Angeles County. Sentinel Boys is an enemy to Azusa 13. Right now, there's an ongoing gang war between the two gangs. Often innocent people with no gang ties have been caught in the crossfire and tragically killed. On July 14, 2019, 24-year-old John Medrano was in the 400 block of South Azusa Avenue, struck by gunfire while walking with the teen boy. Medrano was hospitalized but later died. The boy John was walking with was uninjured. Witnesses and camera footage determined the gunman fled in a black four-door getaway car. Sentinel Boys is believed to be responsible for that murder. On March 17, 2021, a gang-related shooting in Azusa occurred. The shooting occurred on St. Patrick's Day 2021 in the 500 block of North Dalton Avenue just before 10 p.m. This particular gang shooting caused a raid on the Sentinel Boys. On April 16, 2021, around 5 a.m., nine law enforcement organizations led by the Azusa Police Department targeted eight homes. Several people ended up arrested. Multiple firearms were seized. The eight homes targeted in the search warrant reportedly housed a number of Sentinel Boy gang members and their associates. On June 2nd, 2022, Andrew Hidalgo, who went by Player or Osho, a Sentinel Boy gang member, was spray painting graffiti in the 200 block of South Noble Place, just south of the 210 freeway, when Andrew was shot and killed. Two suspects were later arrested two days later on June 4th. Andrew was killed just shy of four days before the Azusa High School commencement ceremonies on June 7, 2022, where he would have been a Azusa High School graduate. Just last week, on December 5, 2022, around 10 a.m., 18-year-old Benjamin Matthew Caroncini was sitting in his car streaming on Instagram Live near the intersection of East Newburgh Street and North Donabeth Avenue, and he was shot in his chest on Instagram Live. Immediately after, Benjamin began to drive his car as long as he could before crashing his car into a parked truck, which then struck a parked car. Benjamin went by lunatic and was from Sentinel Boys. Benjamin was known to law enforcement through previous interactions. Benjamin and two other Sentinel Boy gang members were charged on July 22, 2022 for a November 11, 2021 attempted murder case. Caroncini pleaded not guilty to one count of carrying a loaded firearm in a vehicle or in public. He was scheduled to appear in the West Covina Courthouse December 14th. The next day, on December 6th, last week, 16-year-old Alexander Padilla was with his 13-year-old brother near Donna Beth Avenue in Renwick Road when Alexander was shot and killed. The brothers were going to visit their grandmother at an apartment complex. A neighbor claimed her mother witnessed the shooting and said both brothers were confronted by gang members who asked the siblings who they were affiliated with. The brothers said they weren't affiliated with any gangs. Friends and family members said the brothers were not gang members. Just yesterday, December 13, 2022, two suspected gang members were charged with last week's fatal shooting. 18-year-old Kimberly Salazar of Covina and a 16-year-old boy with murder, attempted murder and shooting in an inhabited dwelling. On December 11, 2022, this past Sunday, a man was in the parking lot of Benny's Liquor around 9.46 p.m. when he was shot. An officer on patrol roughly half a mile northeast of the convenience store heard gunfire and a search began. Multiple calls of gunfire led officers to the scene. The man who was shot fled to his home after he called to report he had been shot. He reportedly did not return fire after being shot in the liquor store lot. This is just the latest back-to-back -back violence between Azusa 13 and Sentinel Boys. Both sides have been taking losses as well as innocent people killed in the midst of the rivalry.